Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here and welcome back to the channel. Today we have the long awaited video of the ethical hacker, you know, EDC. And an everyday carry is basically something that you carry every day. The thing about this is that it is all hacker themed. And the thing about hackers is that they use their laptops or Linux systems at the very least to conduct most of their hacks. So it's kind of hard to use, you know, just things that you bring around every day to conduct these hacks. Now, the goal of this EDC is that I don't want to have like a backpack because you can't bring a backpack everywhere. You know, you can't always go into like, you know, carnivals or festivals or places where they have security checks. You can't just, you know, always bring a backpack or they'll have to check the backpack. And if you're carrying a bunch of sketchy kits and tech around, it's gonna, you know, raise suspicion. So you need to be able to carry something that's very covert, that's very small that you can bring around with you to most places right so that's the goal of this edc and um, we're going to see how it goes so let's go ahead switch cameras and show you what gear i chose to make this um edc uh, we even wrote the payloads yet but this is just you know part one we'll have a part two maybe a part three we'll see how you know interesting this is <laughs> but yeah let's switch the camera and see um what gear i chose i chose a lot of gear for this project and I needed to make sure that we can do all the basic hacking tasks and hacking needs that we need to. So I felt as if this project couldn't go undone or unnoticed or be, wouldn't be complete without the USB rubber ducky. And if you don't know what the USB rubber ducky is, it is basically you know the king of bad USBs. It is a keystroke injection device. So if you want to uh, you know exfiltrate data, if you want to steal Wi-Fi password, if you want to install a backdoor, we can do that with the USB rubber ducky. And it looks just like a normal flash drive. So it's very covert. Next up, we have the um, Shark Jack, uh, also by Hack5. And this is basically a hot plug that you can plug into a network or like an ethernet port. And you can basically run like different types of payloads on that network. You can do advanced reconnaissance or like some sort of exfiltration, um, some sort of scanning, uh, different automation tasks. It's pretty cool. So we're going to find uh, some uses for this as well. And I have a little small lanyard on it so we can find a way to carry it a little bit easier. And next up we have the Bash Bunny. Now if you saw my, um, I might delete my channel video. <laughs> um, you'll know that I almost forgot to include this in this uh, kit because um, this kit would be undone without, you know, the Bash Bunny. And the reason is, it's because it's a whole quad core Linux box on a USB stick. Um, yeah, <laughs> and I literally just said in the intro, and the thing about hackers is that they use their laptops or Linux systems at the very least. So if we have an entire Linux system on uh, like a, something you know the size of my thumb then you know that would probably be important <laughs> in the kit but um, yeah so what it does actually besides being a Linux system is that it can like emulate or mimic um, different trusted um, devices and you know it can emulate keyboards it can emulate mass storage it can emulate Ethernet it can emulate serial um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. And when I say cereal, I mean S-E-R-I-A-L, not the breakfast food. Um, so those are the Hack5 tools I considered for this um, kit. Now, because I have these Hack5 tools, um, I'm also gonna need some adapter. So we have a USB-A to USB-C port, and um, we can also plug it into like an iPad or something like that. So next up, we have a USB-A to micro USB adapter. And this adapter will allow us to plug in these devices and other USB-A devices into uh, devices with a micro USB port. Um, things like Android devices mainly. The last adapter I have is a USB-C to a USB-A port. Now this may seem kind of pointless, but I'll show you its use in a little bit. All right, We have this pink flash drive and it's pink for a reason. If you saw my ethical hacking gets in here get kits and gear video, um, you'll know what this is. But this is basically a USB drive that um, has a folder on it. 
and um, when you click on the folder it's not actually a folder it's malware we, we might change this out with the usb rubber ducky payload we'll see um, i might make one just in case or try to find some sort of alternative route to do the same process but regardless that's you know what it's going to do and this gray usb drive is a parrot os bootable so we can basically take any computer and boot into this usb drive and we have full access to a parrot os security you know hacking linux oper operating system and the thing about booting into um, linux is that sometimes it will allow you to access the hard drive mainly if the computer doesn't um, encrypt the hard drive while shutting down or before booting the next little tool i have here is a tp link wireless network adapter so sometimes when you boot into linux the, it won't be able to detect the wi-fi card on the computer so if you don't have access to ethernet you need a wi-fi adapter next up we have some usb drives right so this is actually not a usb drive this is a uh, micro sd card adapter and um, you can basically put a micro sd card in here and have storage and store things on that micro sd card so i might store some convenient scripts for you know these high five tools or some malware and some other things like that we have another flash drive and this flash drive is a 64 gigabyte a USB drive and it's super small so that's very convenient if we need to like exfiltrate data or if we need to store some more stuff I have this portable charger and this portable charger is um, I got it from the army I think some army guy was trying to recruit me or something so he gave me a bunch of army stuff but um, <laughs> uh, so now I just have a bunch of random army stuff but um, yeah so this is pretty cool I have a little Wi-Fi pineapple sticker on the back. I unscrewed the top part and I forgot what I did with it specifically. I've had this for a while, but it's uh, the smallest and flattest uh, portable treasure that I own. For those of you curious, it's a 2200 milliamp uh, battery. I have this USB-C cord because um, we have the shark jack and the shark jack charges through USB-C. So we need to be able to charge it if we need to be able to scan a network or do something like that. So we can, you know, of course, uh, plug it in to our portable charger, like so. Now, this is the thing, right? This is why I have the, um, the little adapter right here, because let's say if we, I went to unplug this. So let's say if, we need to charge this thing, right? How are we going to do that? So we can actually take our USB-C to USB-A adapter and plug this in and then take this end and plug it in to our micro USB adapter. So now we can plug our micro USB adapter into here and then put this into a computer or a wall out uh, like a plug or something else like that. So that's the purpose of this adapter right here. So we only need one cord to charge all of the hacking devices. Cool little feature about this um, portable charger is that if you hold down the power button, it'll make a little flashlight. And so now we have a flashlight in here as well. Is that it no there's 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 still more <laughs> so some other gear i found is the cards for the hack 5 gear if i need a reference um this may not be included in the fun none of this may even be included in the final uh kit this is just the gear that i figured would be the most important to have in our kit we have usb uh ethernet adapter stickers so these are for life of packet squirrel or the um, land turtle where you need to put a sticker on it so that way it looks more it looks more realistic it looks like it's supposed to be there and then the rest of these are just the information cards for um, different hacking tools um, the next thing I actually have in my drawer so I need to take this out and this is basically just what looks like a pen, right? And it is a pen, it's still a full functioning pen that you can 
uh, right with and stuff. But it also has a knife blade. This is completely unrelated to hacking, but a knife is always good to have on you um, for things like opening things and things like that. And the last thing I have in this hacking or when I'm considering gear for this uh, hacking EDC that we're trying to build is um, this little screwdriver thing right here. You can kind of hear it jingling. So if we unscrew the back, um, I can put this in my hand and it has a bunch of little bits in here. Now, the thing about these bits, these aren't like bits for like your glasses or something. These are all bits for opening computers or phones or things like that. And this bit right here is for, uh, it's actually a SIM tool. We can open MacBooks. I know this is for phones. We can open phones with this. No, we can open phones with this. We can open MacBooks with this. And most Windows computers you can use this side on. So if we need to open the computer and take out their hard drive or something like that, we have these bits that can probably do the job for us. All the bits are magnetic. So if we need to, you know, uh, be able to pick up a screw or something like that, we can. So I'll close that. And that is actually it. All right, so that's all the gear I considered for this project. I guess now we actually have to build the EDC, build the payload, build that stuff. Yeah, all right, uh, let's switch cameras. All right, guys, so I guess that's gonna be it because I actually have to record and build you know, the actual payloads for all of these tools so we can actually use them because we're not gonna go to someone's computer, plug this in and have it open notepad or something, you know? Like we need to actually have um, useful payloads that can work for, um, you know, going out and being able to plug them in and get a useful loop because otherwise this whole kit would be pointless, right? So we're gonna to have to consider the most important payloads that a hacker would need. Um, and we're gonna to have to actually build and develop them. So that is gonna be part two, where we actually build and develop um, some of these tools. We'll probably start off with the USB rubber ducky because it's the one I'm most familiar with. So I will see you guys in the next part. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys over there. So make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe, um, make sure to share it to people who might be interested in um, building this ethical hacking EDC and uh, stay positive, you know, stay happy. And uh, as always, happy hacking.